Kenneth Branagh's approach, I think, for the first Thor movie was treating it as a Shakespearean tragedy. Yeah. I mean, Loki's essentially, I guess, Iago with Macbeth's drive. Yeah. Um, so uh, what, what's changed with Alan Taylor's approach for The Dark World? Well, I think, um, I, I know Alan really wanted to, he sort of inherited what he loved about that film, um, which was, I think, the characters, the, their, but the particular sort of delicate intimacy that they shared. Um, and I think he, what he really wanted to do was um, expand into Asgard, so that it, so that you didn't just see um, the shining citadel of, you know, of Odin's palace, but you saw outside that. You saw where kind of more like regular people lived, as it were, in Asgard. Mm. You sort of went into the various districts and um, suburban regions of, of of the place, so that you kind of the, the dimensions of this fantasy world felt more textured and more physical and more, um, I don't know, just more um, whole in a sense. So you weren't just dealing with the, the royal household, you were dealing with the whole, the whole, the whole space. Okay. That, that strikes me as funny to think that someone like Asgard, mythical gods, that it's I know, I know. Has suburbs. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like saying that Penrith th could be. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a funny thought, but I guess um, I think you know he wanted to, to take it out of the throne room. Yeah. You know that there might be the existence of like of training grounds, and and you'd see where you know where people you know like taverns or something afterwards, because um, you one tends to forget that a whole you know this mythology was conjured up by a whole culture of people who. Who um, who were warriors, but they also had a culture of celebration and festivals and um, and sport and all that stuff. And that maybe Asgardians would have the same thing. Mm. And rape and pillage. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there's a little bit less of that. In our yeah, that's right. Pleased good, to say, good. yeah, yeah. Family movie. <laughs> uh, with the um, uh, so, your Loki is it more on the Norse mythology or on uh, the Marvel sort of creation? Well, I start. I've had to start with the Marvel creation. Mm. Um, but when I, you know, when I started building it with Ken Branner, it was we, we started with all the forty years worth of, of, of Thor comics that we could find. So Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, um, um, Walter, Walt Simonson, J. Michael Straczynski, Robert Rohde, all that stuff. And and then you go back and read the myths, and you can kind of sp sprinkle or infuse the character with with interesting things from that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he even turns up in Wagner, which I found interesting. He's in the ring cycle. Yeah. And so it all kind of boils down into the character that I ended up playing. And then Joss Whedon took it in a direction. And, and, and um, so I suppose I'm, I've, I've played a version of them all, but, if, but I, I, the one that's been the closest anchor or the, the heaviest anchor has been the Marvel incarnation, I guess, yeah. in the later... Um, representations because yeah, okay. the early Loki is much more two-dimensional he's a sort of cackling villain who's um, you know um, standing on rooftops and and um, lording over Thor's demise and I know I know that what I've done is a bit more emotionally nuanced in a way um, but that's leaning leaning quite heavily on on some of the later incarnations in the comics because you've, you've made him like a he must be the most popular supervillain since Darth Vader I mean it Thank you very much. I don't know if that's true, but um, you know, there's a whole load. Well, I think the reaction that you get at Comic Con would probably indicate that. I mean, I mean, you love to frock up for the audience. I mean, yeah. <laughs> how well, it's the only time I've done it, but it right, was right, yeah. it was very, very. It was really fun to do that. Sure. How important um, is that sort of interaction with that, particularly with that audience in this genre? Um, you know, I think it's really it's um, you know, we're very um, lucky to have um, an audience who are who are like on board from the get go. Mm -hmm. You know, most times as an actor, you join a film. And, and you're looking to find an audience um, for the story, whether it's a drama or a, a thriller or a comedy or a horror film. You know, you're hoping that, you're, that the, the characters that you build and the story you're telling is something that an audience is going to enjoy. Mm. With these characters, you know there's an audience out there that's, that's champing at the, chomping at the bit to see where they go next. And, um, but I find that I just feel quite privileged in a way to have that. Um, and... Um, it gives a, it puts a bit of fire in your belly when you're going when you're walking on set. You know that this is coming up the other side, and mm. um, and their input is exciting because it's pretty smart actually. In the sure. End. 
So you, you, you famously auditioned for Thor and bulked up for it and stuff. Yeah. Can you, can you give us 30 seconds of your Thor? <laughs> no, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> um, I haven't got the same. I have, I've lost the weight, man. I haven't got the hair on. It changes and, the timbre of your voice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I may even have, di- have auditioned in an American accent at one point. Um, so, you know, that went no, out the window. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, so i got to ask, I mean, you know, what character are you playing in Star Wars 7, surely? <laughs> have not had the phone call. Just, JJ, yeah. get on with it. Come on. You're going to be yeah, free- yeah. You're freeing up now. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he, I, I, mean, I really, really respect and admire him as a filmmaker, but I can promise you there's been absolutely no activity. Fair enough. Are, are you sorry to hang up the horns for the moment? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll miss him. He's been, he's been a character I've played once a year, pretty much, for sort of the last four years of my life. Um, uh, so yeah, there's, I've really enjoyed it. Um, but, you know, I'm sure whatever's around the corner will be just as exciting in a way. Um, mm. Who knows if it's forever? I really don't know. Um, it's good. I know it's really good for Avengers for the, that I'm not in it, I think. Sure. Like Avengers needs, they need, they need a new bad guy. They need a new story. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Sure. Tom, thanks very much. My pleasure. Thanks, man. No Thanks a lot.